I'm in. Hi. Check it out. Where's <laughs> Anya? How nice. dare you? Looks nice. Oh my God. Turned out nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he put candles. He got candles. So where's the flower? I thought Jack must. Yeah, lah, Jack. Where's the flower? Uh, flowers. Better. <laughs> go, go flowers. Go flowers. In three, <laughs> two, one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, you got you got you flowers already. <laughs> Surprise! No. Not bad. Got effort. Got A for effort. And it disappeared. <laughs> Wow. Oh, you know, man, eh? Wait, let me, oh, let no. me. Oh, it's solid. <laughs> Mine looks quite, yeah, bland, but it's okay. It's nice. You could have added more gravy. Hello. How are you? Good. So I, I, I made pasta, big beans pasta. Oh, okay. And what about you? Yeah. I make Go. chicken. Kabutao. Yeah. Healthy. What chicken is that? Garlic chicken and garlic chili chicken and tofu. <laughs> yeah. Let's eat. Bon appetit, people. Uh, mine's not bad. Hmm. It's, uh, That's not bad too. Yeah, uh, it's, hmm. it's quite nice. I actually hmm. enjoy it. Good. Not bad. I'm proud of the one hour lasagna fix. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I guess I win. <laughs> Auntie, I think your husband should cook for you every day. Mm. Hey, is it good or not, Daryl? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Ex at first, like I, I was quite skeptical about putting in balsamic vinegar. Mm. <laughs> but actually, it worked out quite alright. Hey, Nicole, how? Okay, I uh, think lemongrass and chili is good. It's a lemon good grass. ingredient to have. Combination. Okay, so. <laughs> is this the episode that we just go go live on camera and just don't 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 say anything <laughs> and eat? It's a mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> Some yeah. people looking at other people eat fetish. Eh? Yeah, yeah. It is the thing. And now we got three people. <laughs> yeah. What a merrier. Hey Nicole, you know you're spicy. Yeah? Yes, because there's chili padi. He put it optional, but I like I like spicy. Oh, you can take spicy. Yeah? I eat chili padi. Wow, you're crazy. I can't take spicy food. I'm hot and My spicy, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to make the, the sauce you make yourself, uh, or you manage to buy. There was no like tomato puree as well, so I had to make the tomato puree from scratch. So there was like effort. Yeah, so I was like, no, I'm not gonna make the vegan cheese myself too. It's no time. <laughs> but you know, okay, there's a reason why I made you choose. Uh, make you make you make a lasagna because I was thinking mm. about you know how to prepare your food mindfully. So that you, the, every layer you put, you will think of the present. <laughs> well, I was, I was, I was kind of like rushing for time, so I was like, <laughs> there was no mindfulness in that. <laughs> <laughs> that defeats the purpose of today's episode. It's okay, you know, like, after that, I can come back and just, like, review. It's like, you know, next time, I should, like, prepare more time. You know? <laughs> What I learned is better check what you have at home before you buy. So one of the things that I remember is I have so many things at home that I think I buy. So mindfulness is about and mindfulness in grocery shopping is to find out what you have at home and the expiry date first before you go out and buy the stuff. Mm -hmm. And when you are about to buy the stuff, think whether you need it or not. Like I bought chips as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think it brings up the next point as well is the, to be able to find a balance between having a healthy diet or incorporating a healthy diet and having a sinful exactly. one. Because um, for, for people who have not done like healthy diets at all before, I think it would be a very 
drastic change to their lifestyle. So I think like transitioning with um, a peace of mind that, you know, um, to be able to balance the two um, areas would be bad so that we can slowly and uh, surely make it more sustainable in the future in terms of like, yeah. transitioning to a more healthy diet. I think the first step is like trying to incorporate more healthy food versus unhealthy food in your meals and then slowly work your way up from there. So at least we are doing something to make the change, right? Yeah. I think what you yeah. mentioned about the balance part is very true as well. Because I mm. think some people, when they want to, I don't know, um, especially for girls, right? They want to lose weight the fastest way. So they yeah. just do everything in the extreme. But I think it backfires more and it's not sustainable. So I think moderation and balance, I'd say. Yeah. And exactly true, like, because like some ladies or uh, friends that I know, they make the drastic changes. And after they make the drastic changes, they tend to burn out. And after they burn out, they start, you know, your body starts to, your body is not already like adapted to it yet because it's only a short term kind of change. So immediately mm. once you go back to your old diet, you're just like, whoop, your body goes back to how it was before. Mm. But uh, yeah. if you make it long term and sustainable throughout the entire, maybe a year or more, then your body can at least change and adapt to yeah. the new kind of lifestyle. And then, then when you make the changes or go back to like eating a little bit unhealthy, your body doesn't react as much and not as sensitive. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Always all about balance, right? And moderation. Yeah. And I think I think lastly to add is when there's input, there should be output. Lah. So the output should yeah. be like, you know, doing some workouts, sweating it out. Uh, make sure you have your cardio work done so that you can kind of like burn off your carbs. If not, they are yep. stored in your body as sugars and then you get fat. So I think balance also comes in uh, in terms of what you put in, you must work it out. But, uh, yeah, true. Yeah. It's quite hard to, to stay mindful all the time. Um, not just in like grocery shopping and everything, but different other factors that come into play will just throw you off your gut and you start to wander off in your mind and your thoughts and get frustrated sometimes as well. But I think that's how it is, right? Um, it's always a constant um, progress that you have to, to, to monitor yourself on um, so that you can improve on. But I think that's that's good as well for us because as uh, individuals ourselves who are progressing tro- towards our path, um, this will allow us, as we do this kind of content, we are actually helping ourselves to develop as well and slowly understanding and sharing more and people will be able to see from that. So, All right, so uh, we've come to the end of uh, this episode and we hope you enjoyed our mukbang <laughs> piece of content. And uh, we hope to catch you in our next episode. Um, if you have any questions or you'd like us to um, have any piece of content related to any kind of topics with regards to, let's say, mindfulness activities, do let us know and we'll help to um, you know, uh, create more content on that. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed, like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, Dad, why don't you try my lasagna? Lasagna. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy.